Hey guys, Scott Clark with Scooter Media. And in today's video, I'm gonna do a little continuation of yesterday's video, which should be up and live now, which was me kind of explaining my story and my background in filming and kind of what got me to YouTube. And in today's video, I'm gonna to kind of touch on what's my bread and butter, which is corporate videos, and kind of explain to you guys how I got into that industry and how you can make some money doing the same thing. So in a nutshell, I would consider corporate videos basically anything you're doing for a business. And that could be anything from product, videography, it could be a service, could be training videos. There's quite a plethora of different videos that you can do in the corporate world. I've done, you know, everything, like I said, from product videography to services, training videos, even messaging. So if the CEO wants to message the other employees in the business, they'll do a quick record. I put together the video and then they send it off to all the employees. So a lot of people consider these videos boring, but I disagree. I think they aren't boring at all. I like the fact that I can basically go somewhere, shoot that client or that business and learn about that business for the time that I'm there, whether it's, you know, a couple hours or a couple days or whatever. I just find it interesting learning about the different businesses and the aspects of how the business is run, etc. So I find it very interesting. And I also like that it's not always the same thing. So if you're a wedding shooter, you know, you're shooting weddings, you're kind of basically shooting the same thing every day. Whereas with the corporate world, it's generally different things all the time. So one day you could be interviewing a client, the next day you could be shooting products, Next day, you're doing training videos with welding, etc. So I just like that there's a plethora of different things that you get to shoot. And personally, I don't find it boring at all. The first point I wanna make is the video industry is so much bigger now from when I started. Almost every company out there is looking for a videographer and an editor. And Cause as you guys know, video is like the most popular method for a lot of things, for websites, you know, for looking up products. I do it myself, I'll go on YouTube if I'm looking for something, look up reviews on it, etc. So the video world is such a huge industry right now and every business is looking for a videographer and editor. So it's a great time to get in on that. And I will tell you, I think the first point I can make is that you're gonna need to go out and start filming. Even if you have no clients, you just have a phone. The first thing you need to do is have some footage that you can show the client and then they're gonna say okay this person can actually shoot video and you actually have something to show them they're not gonna chances are they're not gonna hire you without seeing any footage and just, just take a chance on you you basically need some sort of portfolio that shows you can do the job and to do that to get started you can literally film yourself your friends your family it doesn't have to be top-notch all you're trying to do is gain experience. I think in yesterday's video, I explained that I was putting myself on the classified ads and I was getting jobs doing for doing little kids' birthday parties and just all kinds of one-off things that I really had no interest in doing, but it gave me the experience that I needed and it got me comfortable with shooting and editing. And that's what this is all about. You have to know your camera, you have to know how to edit, you have to be able to show the clients that you can do these things. So my first piece of advice would just go out, shoot everything you can, even if it's just on a phone, that's just gonna get you help, help you get started gaining experience in the video world. The second piece of advice I'll give you is something I did and I found worked out pretty well for me back in the day. And that is once you do have a few examples of your work, start reaching out to a few companies and offer to do some free video work for them. You don't wanna get in the habit of doing this. You don't wanna work for free your whole life, obviously. But chances are, if you do offer to do a video for free and the client likes it, they will definitely hire you to do further work down the road. I've done this in the past with many companies and even applying for jobs if you're not even looking to do a freelance position, you're looking to get a job with a video company. I sometimes will make a video reaching out to the company or about the company. And I'm telling you, it helps. 
just the fact that you're showing some initiative and doing something that they haven't even asked for yet will definitely help you get your foot in the door in the video world. Now, the third piece of advice I can give you, and I don't know if this pertains to everybody, but where I live, the video community seems to be a very small community. And I don't mean that there's not a lot of people working in it. There are a ton of people in the industry, but you run into so many people over and over and over again. So one of the most important pieces of advice that I can give is make sure you're professional, you're courteous, you're, you know, you're using proper manners when you're dealing with clients and other videographers, because word of mouth travels faster than you'd believe. And I'm lucky that I've had a reputation for being a fairly nice guy and easy to get along with and a hard worker. And if anything, that has gotten me further than the skill and the experience. So definitely need to be professional in every manner when dealing with clients, as well as, you know, fellow workers, just everybody involved, because you're gonna, chances are you're gonna run into those people down the road again. And you don't want that reputation for being, you know, the guy who doesn't wanna work or is very difficult or hard to get along with. So big piece of advice, be professional and courteous, and it'll get you a long way. I'm probably gonna get asked how much money you can make doing corporate videos. And to be honest, it's wide open. Obviously, if you're just starting out, you're not gonna be able to charge what you can once you have experience and you've worked with these companies and you have all the gear and equipment. You know, I basically charge based on experience, equipment, and what the client is looking for. And you know, like, depending on the client, when you're first starting out, like I said, once you're past the, doing a few jobs for free and you want to start charging, it's entirely up to you what you want to start charging. It could be a hundred bucks a video. Once you get into very experienced work, you can charge up to, you know, 1,000, 2,000, $3,000 a day. It's entirely based on your experience and your equipment. But like I said, that all comes with practice and doing these things over and over and over again which goes back to my first point, which is just to go out, press record, and record as many videos as you possibly can, because that's just gonna give you the experience that you don't have at this point in time. One thing I do also wanna mention, I might've said this already, but you do need to know the gear you're using when you're on the set with a client. Time is money. And you don't wanna be sitting there fidgeting with the camera and then say to the client, sorry, we're delayed because I can't figure out how to do this or I can't figure out to do that. So that's another point that goes back to practicing using the equipment and the gear. It's just gonna get you that much more comfortable with everything. And that's just gonna get your foot in the door that much quicker. My final piece of advice, like I said earlier, is just reach out to as many people, companies, networking, all that stuff as much as you can. Because you know what, if you're sitting at home filming yourself on your phone, that's great for YouTube, but that's not gonna get you anywhere in the video world. You actually have to get out, start talking to other people, let people know that you wanna get into this business, that you've been working on it, that you're learning the craft, you're learning how to use your camera, you're learning how to edit, but you just wanna be a part of that community and then once you are a part of that community and word spreads, after a while, the jobs start coming to you because you've got that reputation of being such a good worker, videographer, editor, and you're easy to get along with. And literally the jobs start coming to you. Now, don't get me wrong, that's a while before that happens. But like I said, stick it out, shoot as many videos as you can, offer some free videos to some clients. Then you can get into the paid work, network. All of these things are gonna help you break into the world of corporate videos. And even if you're not looking to get into corporate videos, all of the things I've mentioned will help you get into the video world that you're looking to get into. It doesn't matter what it is you're trying to do. You still need how to shoot. You still, know now. You still need to know how to shoot and edit. And by practicing, you're going to learn all those things. 
Okay, guys, that's gonna be about it for today's video. Kind of a continuation on from yesterday's video where I kind of explained that I'm gonna kind of try and get out more and get in better shape. I'm probably still breathing like crazy today, so I do apologize. But I did wanna get out, get some exercise, some fresh air, bring you guys along, hopefully add some value to your day and to your knowledge. And hopefully if this is something that you're thinking about getting into, this may have helped. And if you're looking for anything else or have any questions or concerns regarding corporate videos or anything that I've talked about, just let me know in the comments. And if you did find value in today's video, please give it a thumbs up. It's always appreciated. And please consider subscribing if you haven't already, as it really does make a difference. I'd love to have you join me on this YouTube journey. All right, I'm running out of breath here. Thanks for watching today's video. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.